Hi, I'm Chris and this is Sarah from Spiritually Acceleration. And we're excited to announce our upcoming clearing, Clearing the Dark Force, which is on the 9th of December. And that's a Saturday for me at 3 p.m. Eastern and 8 p.m. UK time. And how about you, Sarah? What, what, what time uh, is that? For Australians, that will be Sunday the 10th of December at 6 a.m. Rock and roll. And this clearing is one we're really excited to facilitate with you. It's around dark forces, which is one of the biggest places where you can really become free and experience tremendous change and shift. Sarah, yeah, tell us a bit more about clearing dark forces and what this clearing is about. Yeah, I think this topic has quite a lot of fear attached to it when people think of dark forces or even their shadow aspects. There's a lot of fear involved. So delving into this particular module within the foundations, and this is what we're going to explore in the clearing, is what we can gain actually from leaning into that frequency. So taking our power back, it reduces the fear and we understand more of our wholeness and that everything is actually of the light, even the dark. <laughs> so when we can explore those aspects of ourselves and what is outside of us and clearing those influences, the dark force interferences, uh, we actually take more of our power back. We can take more of our light back, our, our truth, our sovereign divinity, the liberation that can be gained through this particular topic module this clearing is epic it is just epic <laughs> this topic is brilliant because it's the place where we really wake up from duality in the foundations training and in our own personal sort of development because the dark and the light are often understood in terms of this this dance of good and evil of the divine and of pure separation and on one level that's true and then as we go deeper into awakening and deeper into the path we recognize that Although there is all this separation, everything wakes up as the divine. There's actually nothing else but the divine playing out in all of these forms. And that includes the darkness, which is real. Evil is actually a real phenomenon that we need to work with. We need to address it. We need to address it in our live stream. We need to address it out there in the cosmos and take action. But actually, at the core of everything, it's just the divine waiting to wake up. And so this module, as, as you said, really takes our power back. And in this mm. clearing, me and Sarah are going to be clearing the dark forces from your energy system, waking up the beings that are stuck in these sorts of patterns of separation and, and darkness. And, and you'll get a real feeling for what this is about. You know, this is, this is the most transformational part of this work in the Foundations course for me and I think for you too, Sarah. And we're just thrilled to share mm. it with you. And so come and, come and get a cool clearing. And for people interested in tracking, you'll get a good sense of where the, what the dark force is all about and, how that feels when that's shifting and where that sits in your system. Typically, it really sits into kind of a lot of themes around terror, fear, trauma, sort of the, the darker parts of human nature where we're suffering the, the most kind of concentrated that black, black frequencies, which sort of resonates and draws in these beings. So it will be a, it's going to be a good time. Another thing I'd like to add just off the back of what Chris was just talking about too was that deep dive into those aspects of ourselves that we really don't want to look at or aspects of ourselves like that shadow aspect where we're really, where we have discarded ourselves or abandoned ourselves or the parts of ourselves that we don't deem acceptable or worthy or deserving. So those looking at those aspects where we hold that shadow within ourselves and that is providing access to these dark forces. So when we go there and we look at it and we learn to accept it and love it, it actually, again, raises the vibration of that frequency. It heals those that level of wounding where they can no longer access it so it takes again it takes away the stigma the darkness the shadow it takes away the fear and the misconceptions around these frequencies and that is also a part of how you can take your power back but also shuts down any possibility of these dark forces accessing us so it's very empowering it sheds a lot of light on the healing process and who we are the truth of who we are and that's yeah another part of how we can liberate ourselves free ourselves up to be more of who we truly are without these influences what i find dark forces do is they keep embedded that frequency so they're, they're not often not even creating it 
Mm -hmm. It's a bit like the entity frequency where they just perpetuate it more. They're keeping it embedded in our being so that we stay stuck, we stay small, we stay limited, and they feed off that. The other part of it is where we have given them permission to do this in order to keep ourselves small because we thought we were protecting ourselves. So this is just something that we've done where we've experienced something traumatic and we want to shut that aspect of ourselves down. So we get the beings that we know will get that job done. We never, ever want to access that within ourselves again. We never, ever want to experience that level of terror or fear. So we get the scariest, gnarliest being to hold that closed, shut, tight. We give our, we give permission to give our, our, our power away, and they hold that for us. So we want to take that back. This is the lifetime that we have to experience the liberation, take your power back, take your light, own your light. Job finished mission complete they're fired 